lamb filet mignon. What could be better? Normally it's made with beef, but this time I'm going to use lamb fillet. Not backstrap, but fillet. I just said to Adrian, see, that's backstrap. I know that's backstrap now. And he went, no. Nah. <laughs> that's why they have me around, because I know that's fillet. It's nice and tender. It doesn't do a lot of work. It hasn't got that much flavour, but it's still delicious, believe me. Australian lamb, the best in the world. And not much fat. It's not much fat. I mean, there was a little bit of sinew on there, a tiny little bit of fat. Very easy to clean off. You can do it yourself or get a butcher to do it. Normally, it's got the head on the end of it, but we've removed it this time, so it's nice and, nice and neat. So I'll just need two of them. And what could be better to add to lamb than bacon? And here I've got some lovely bacon. This is the eye of the bacon. Can move these out of it? You can move them out of the way. That would be fantastic. And I'll lay them down there. I'll eat them later on when there are uh, when, when no one else is watching. Filet mignon is a classic one. We, we, we get... When you wrap the beef, the bacon around it. Correct, correct. So what I'll do is I'll just cut that in half because the fillet is just a little bit smaller than that. And I'll just cut it straight through the middle there like that. Keep all the fat on the bacon. Oh, you don't want to take the fat's the flavour. That's the best and you tastiest know, I part. I know, but it'll um, also, you know, give you a heart attack. Yeah, one day, but that's a long time away. So <laughs> this is lovely Kaiserfleisch, which is like a, a German smoked ham or bacon, which is even even more delicious. That's what makes it nice. There we go. It's not just a pack of stuff. And all you do is just assemble it back like that. I'm doing that because it's got a little bit of a tear in it. And all I do with my fillet is I cut it. There we go. The same width that I've cut the, uh, the, the bacon. And all you do is just roll that around like that. that. We've got little medallions there. There we go. Beautiful. By the time you've made all this, there may be, you know, 250 grams, maybe 200 grams of actual meat, which is, you know, a, 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 oh, a reasonable that. portion. And then you line them all up like that. This is you two dishes these. or one dish? This is one dish for me, because you're not going to eat any of it. I've got my little skewer with a lamb on it, and all I need to do is go through like that. Make sure you don't, ah! make sure you don't squeeze your uh, skewer your hand <laughs> all the way through like that. And there we go. That takes practice. I bet it's not that easy. It's not. I mean, you can get your butcher to do it or take your time, do one at a time as you skewer it on there. But that'll sit beautifully. All you need to do with that, it smells great it's already. It's that well, yummy bacon yeah, though. I don't exactly. even like bacon, but that smells yummy. It's smoked stuff. Bacon is the best cure for vegetarianism that I know. The second most, uh, the second best cure is actually pork crackle as well. A little bit of salt on there, not too much because the bacon is salty. A nice amount of pepper on both sides. And that's the beauty of one of these skewers. You can just, you know, turn it around and the whole thing yeah, comes around. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Easy peasy. I'm just thinking what you could do. You could put tofu in the middle, put some eggplant around the outside. Yes, you could, Janella. Yeah. But we've got lamb and bacon instead. All I'm going to do is pop this on the barbie. It'll take about eight to ten minutes, which will give us time to make everything else. I mean, if, it's good, if we're going to take any longer, I can take it off and rest it. But we'll sear it on both sides. It'll be delicious. Pop it in there. Keep it on your meat side. Oh, that's the meat side there. Hear that sizzle? The sizzle of meat cooking on the barbecue. This is the tofu side. Okay, so I'm going to make sort of a Thai beef salad, but it's a Thai tofu salad. So I'm taking so the beef is, out. Is that a fake Thai beef salad with tofu or a Thai tofu? That sounds lovely. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Beautiful. Okay, Adrian, can you just chop that up for me? I'm going to blitz it. Okay. So yep. however you Rough like. Chop, yep. Yeah, yeah. The whole onion? Yes, please. And everyone loves a Thai beef salad, and people think they're really healthy, and they are really healthy, but, you know, I never get to order it because I don't eat meat. So I thought, you know, let's just try it without the meat. So I've got three stalks of lemongrass here. So with the lemongrass, you just want to take the, the woody end off, like that, and then take the green bits off. So you just want to be left with the pink bits inside. So cut them in half? Yeah, because you don't want all the woody, stemmy bits. Oh, look at that. See all that beautiful purple bits in there? That's what you want. Good. So we're going to um, chop those up. Just take all those woody bits off the outside. You don't want them. All right, so I've got one tablespoon. You know what? Let's put one teaspoon of palm sugar in there. Coconut palm sugar, Australian. Australian? Yeah, thanks. And maybe half a teaspoon of white pepper. So you can use this dressing on anything you like. Beef, chicken. Fish, lamb, tofu. duck. Tablespoon of fish sauce. Quail. <laughs> and I'm going to put a bit. Oh, that's, that's great. The Ooh. pepper as well. Yum. Lovely, yeah. Um, what have I got? Peanut oil. You can use sunflower, safflower. What? <laughs> what have I got? Uh -huh. Here we go. You know I make it up as I go along. Yeah. You did a good job. It smells great. <laughs> and white wine vinegar. Lovely. Just a little bit. I'm going to put more of that in the salad. Oh, and garlic, garlic, garlic. Need plenty of garlic. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to do this for you. So you could you squash that? Sure. Because we've got the big rack in the barbecue. Oh, you used meat on that knife, didn't you? I'm going to keep the tofu quite fat, like that. So I reckon we do four. Okay. So 
so food firm trophy. See how that's nice and firm and it doesn't break up? That's what you want. So Adrian, I'm just going to blitz my dressing and how's your... Still a few minutes to go. This is going nice and slowly, sizzling away. Double meat away. dish. Here we go. Mm. It's a very powerful blender, this one. Okay. Blitz, 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 blitz. Pour that in. Is that a tablespoon? Yeah. There we go. Organic peanut oil. Beautiful. It looks like a blueberry smoothie, doesn't it? It does. It's not going to taste like one. That'll fool you. Okay. Let's pour him over. Oh, beautiful. I'll use that marinade again later. Just let's uh, make sure all of our tofu is covered. You're just thinking this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's it? like pink, pink tofu. Oh, delicious. Well, why not? So this has been marinating for at least an hour, preferably overnight. And on the tofu side of the barbie. Oh, beautiful. And I'm going to baste it too. So the lamb, the bacon and the tofu and the Thai dressing all together. What a wonderful concoction I'm just is. pretending it's not all together. There we go. <laughs> now I'll turn this over as well. While we're here, I might as well turn my lamb over. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks nice beautiful. Nice and crisp on the other side. It's not, it's not too hot, this oven, so we're getting a nice colour from it. Beautiful aroma, it's fantastic. Now, okay, what next, Adrian? I need to make my bean salad and you've got your salad to assemble. So how about I finish off my bean salad, put it aside, and then we can uh, br bring Go the ahead. whole thing back home. Okay. My lamb filet mignon is just about ready. Now we've had time to make our salads. My salad's ready, I've got some, some bolotti beans, some great northern beans that have been cooked. You can use tin beans if you want, or you can cook them yourself. It doesn't really matter, they're beautiful, nice and soft. I've got some red peppers that I've cut into a dice, some tomatoes that are diced, some red onions that are diced. I've also got some spring onions that I've cut into some fancy little shapes here. I've also got some parsley, which I'll throw in there as well, and some garlic. I've got some lovely little slivers of garlic that I've uh, cut nice and fine and I'll hide that through there so as you're eating the beans That's you'll nice. get that punch of, uh, of raw garlic. Throw that in, in there, a nice healthy sprinkle of salt, some pepper, oh lovely, a little bit of uh, vinegar in there as well, a bit of tarragon vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, don't be shy with this stuff because the olive oil is what makes it taste nice. Oh hello, how about the beans and yeah. the capsicum and the tomatoes and the parsley and the garlic and that is a beautiful bean salad, use about a tenth of the salt. That's a really nice salad, Adrian. It's going to be delicious. Well, Thank you. Give your legumes in well, there, all well, your protein, your veggies. Well, you know, there's a little bit of meat there. You know, enough for me. But we've got some, all these, all this tofu and your salad and my salad together, all mixed in. I'll just give that a bit of a stir and let all the uh, the dressing yeah, sort yum. of fester away. And look at the colour on that. It's going to be beautiful. We'll just let that well, sit for a little while. Why can't you make that on Sunday? Throw some quinoa in there, and you've got you've got lunch for the week. Sort of. You have. And here we go, I've got the lamb there, I'll pop that there, I'll pop a little lemon wedge next to it like that, ready to go. We're almost ready to plate the yours up, I'll let that rest for a little bit, I'll put my bean salad on there and then we'll scoff up some lamb filet mignon. Scoff up. Oh, lovely. Let's have a look at you my tofu. You want to take the tofu off? Well, I'm just going to have a look at it first, let's see what's going on. Oh, oh beautiful. Yum. Nice and crispy. That is exactly how I wanted it. Trying lovely. not to get it on the meat side. Yeah, there's a little bit of meat just there. Yeah, I think Stop you, I think it, you caught the edge not. of it. Get that lamb flavour coming really nice. Out okay, <laughs> go. I've got carrot, julienne, yeah. I've got cucumber, some lettuce and some red onion in there. So give it a little toss and then I want to put some bean sprouts in. This is to make four. So let's go like that. Beautiful. So Adrian, can you put half of those rice noodles Do you want there? me to cut them or just pull them apart? Cut them. Cut them. I'll On the veggio side of, of the, of there the we world. Go. There we go. Okay. So I want to make a little dressing just quickly to go over the top of that. It's a bit squishy over here because Mr. Lamb over there is... Taking up all the space. Chilli, garlic, a little bit of palm sugar because it is a Thai salad. Okay, palm sugar, Adrian, one garlic and chilli really fine, please. Sure. Leave, the, leave the seeds in. Fish sauce, I mean, I want a lot, about three tablespoons because this is going to be the dressing and salad. And some rice wine vinegar about one tablespoon. And also in my salad, I want some Vietnamese mint. I want a cup, oh, smell Adrian. Beautiful. About a cup of Vietnamese mint. It's really easy to grow Vietnamese mint, and so is lemongrass, as we were saying. So you can have Thai salads every night, really, if you want. Great in summertime, and really, this is the perfect time of year. Really, especially in summertime. Now, do you want this into? Into the dressing, yep. please, Adrian. And then some Thai basil, and if you can't get Thai basil, 
You can use ordinary basil. Oh, little birdies are getting hungry. Yes. Do you think they want your meat or do you think they want my Thai salad? I reckon they're, I reckon they're definitely Australian birds. So they want some lamb. There we go. Show it on here. So let's have a little stir of my dressing. Beautiful. What do you think? It smells fantastic. It's, it's quite pungent, the herbs you've used in this and in the, in the ingredients. Yeah, nice. Yep. There we go. And the thing about these noodles, they'll just soak up that dressing, won't they? Yeah, Beautiful. exactly. So let's give it a little... Mix around. Yep. Gently. I know you want to get your hands in there, Adrian. But no, it's not going to happen. These, hand, these hands that are registered. Too. I'm They're a tradesman. No, no, these are registered to toss salads, so it's okay. Who by? The uh, hand registration department <laughs> of, of Australia. Can you believe that You know one? what I'll let you do, Adrian? What's that? I'll let you put it in the plate with your hand. And there mix it up go. as you go a bit. There we go. So you want me to mix it and plate it up at the same time. And while Adrian's See, that's why you get that, a professional to do it. You know, I can do those things at the same life. time. Give it to me. Go and get... I'll, I'll turn over the tofu. No, I need... Can you bring the tofu sure. over here? Beautiful. Look How's at it looking? Gorgeous. Fantastic. Nice and crisp and hot and tasty. Oh, lovely. Do you want me to cut them for you? Thank you. I was going to say get a professional to do it, but I know you'd crack it if you did that. There we go. Mm. Look, that's fantastic. We've got lamb. I'll put a bit of beans on my plate there. So we'll plate wow. it all up together. It's going to be really Look at that. tasty. And I bet next time Adrian has a dinner party, he's using tofu. And I want some nuts. Oh, lovely. Peanuts. Yep. Sesame seeds on there, cashew nuts, whatever you want on there. Beautiful. Peanuts. Yeah. Have you saved any Would you lemon? like some lemon? You Chop just, that one in yeah, half. Just, just, just take my lemon. Go on. I know you want off. to. Just, just help yourself to my lemon. There we go. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, lovely. Nice. Beanie, soya beanie, lamby, bacony salads. They look great. Tasty, fresh and healthy, and especially healthy with yours, Janella. Can't wait to taste this one. Beans are very, very good for you, aren't they? Full Why? Of carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, iron, all the good things that you need packed into every little tiny bean. <laughs> Who does this one? She told me that before. Fiber. There we go. And fiber as well. And look at that. What could be are you better? You put than... the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah. The lamb wrapped in bacon. <laughs> mm. Oh, look how tender that is. Let me oh. smell. Smells like bacon. Beautiful. The fillet just falls apart. It's really, really tender. The bacon gives it that salty flavour, smokiness. The barbecue gives it the rest of the flavour. Truly a delicious way to serve lamb. Come on. All right. You're going to put that meaty fork in there? Yeah. There we go. I'll have to let that piece. Now let's try the tofu first. Yeah. Mmm. Lovely. Nice dressing. Mmm. And the basting as well. Mmm. A lot of lemongrass in there, some lime. Delicious. That's beautiful. I reckon I can get all that in? Yeah, come on. Probably. There you go. But something like this, your, your, your Thai salad, on a hot day, hot summer's night, that out in the backyard, around the pool, with some chicken, um, be delicious. That is really lovely and really easy. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I think they're both really nice, Adrian. Let's keep eating. Okay. Lovely. See you next time.